Sella, it's time for my final thought. She is American history, one of the many hidden figures. But there was a time, not that long ago really, when she was classified as a sub-professional on par with a janitor, thought of as nothing more than a human calculator, a computer, if you will. Katherine Johnson, originator of the math, needed to send our astronauts into space and beyond, passed away quietly at her Newport News retirement home yesterday. She, she was 101 years old. An amazing woman who lived an amazing life. Calling her an American hero, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein says Johnson helped our nation enlarge the frontiers of space, even as she made huge strides that also opened doors for women and people of color in the universal human quest to explore space. And he's right. Her importance and contributions to the space program should never be understated. She analyzed the trajectory for America's first human space flight. She calculated the trajectories for the first space orbital flight, telling her superiors, you tell me when you want it and where you want it to land, and I'll do it backwards and tell you when to take off. It was this confidence that had John Glenn refusing to go into space until Catherine double checked the work of NASA's new mainframe computers, telling the engineers to get the girl to check the numbers. If she says they're good, then I'm ready to go. She worked the math that allowed men to land on the moon, and she was the first woman to receive credit as an author of a research report. This may not seem like much today, but this was at a time when women, especially black women, were basically seen, barely, and never heard. She would go on to author or co-author 26 more. Born Catherine Coleman in a small town, West Virginia, to a teacher mother and a father who was a farmer, she finished all the coursework offered at the two-room the two -room schoolhouse by age 10, giving the world just a little preview. After graduating college, she started teaching and married her first husband, James Goble. They had three girls together. He later passed away, but it was then her brother-in-law who suggested that she apply for a computer position, and the rest is now part of our collective history. Johnson was one of the many women who worked at NASA in those early years, doing vital works and never receiving any credit for them. It wasn't until the book and subsequent hit movie Hidden Figures that the world became aware of these heroes. Hidden no longer, they finally received their propers. But she played down her role, saying in an interview following the movie's release, there's nothing to it, I was just doing my job. No ma'am, there was a lot to it, and thankfully for America and humanity, there was a lot to you. Get up, DC.